Excuse me. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be Yes, God, Jeffree Star released his Skin Frost Pro Palettes. I picked up both of them. Did I need both of them? Probably not, but you know I did have to get them for this review because I love reviewing Jeffree's Skin Frost. They are bomb AF and I'm so excited. So we got Platinum Ice and then we got 24 Karat. Jeffree said that the 24 Karat is probably going to be more flattering on tan skin tones and the Platinum Ice is going to be flattering on lighter skin tones, but this is makeup. Have fun. I'm going to try all 12 shades out on my cheeks. If you've never watch any of my highlighter reviews before I've said it many times I have no makeup on right now excuse the little pimple underneath my eye it used to be ginormous and it was really really crazy so it's much smaller now so I have no makeup on ignore that while I'm doing this review and then I always apply the highlighters both dry and I dampen it with some fix plus to get some intensity so let's go ahead and get into this review so when you open up the packaging these are what they look like I love them the gold one it's very golden it has kind of like a brocade pattern and then the silver one the platinum ice is like a metallic silver and it looks like crushed diamonds. So cute, like I mentioned, there's six shades in them. Two of the shades are existing Skin Frost, and then the other four are brand new. This is the 24 karat one. Girl, live for it. So it has King Tut, and it also has Dark Horse. I don't have Dark Horse, so I'm really excited to try that out. I have King Tut, one of my favorite Skin Frost, probably is my favorite Skin Frost if I had to pick one, and then all the other ones are brand new. So this is a Morphe M510 brush, and I'm going to be grabbing the first shade, which is called Sarcophagus. So cute, and I love this one. Um, well, I hope I love this one. <laughs> so I'm applying this dry first, but this is what sarcophagus looks like right now. So this one is definitely the lightest one in the whole palette, you can tell, and it looks really light on my skin tone. So I'm going to grab it again. I'm just going to dampen it with some Fix Plus and then put it on my other cheek. Okay, so there's sarcophagus right now on my cheek. Mm. It's not my favorite on my skin tone. It looks very, very light on my skin tone. So here is Sarcophagus with the dry application and with the damp application. I'm excited to see what the other four look like, but if you have a little bit lighter of a skin tone than me, you probably would like this one a lot. Okay, moving on to the next one. This is King Tut. You guys have seen that on me so many times before, and I actually did a review on it. I guess I'll just put it on just to see what it looks like again, because I love this one. So I'm putting on King Tut first dry. This is what King Tut looks like with the damp application compared to the dry application. I still love King Tut. It's definitely my favorite skin frost out of all of the shades he's ever released. So moving on to the next one. This is called Dark Horse, and I don't have this one, but I know that this is a previously released skin frost, or it's a permanent skin frost from him, so I'm excited to try this one out. This one looks very, very bronzy, so let's first apply it with a dry application. That's what it looks like on my brush. It looks very coppery. And yes, it looks very like bronzy. I could almost use this as like a shimmery bronzer on my skin tone. It definitely has like a cor like an orangey copperish look to it. So let's apply it again and I'm just going to dampen my brush. Girl, it's a lot of pigment. Okay, this literally looks crazy. So it, it looks like a bronze penny on my skin tone. Well, you guys can see what Dark Horse looks like. If you have a darker complexion than me, this one would look gorgeous on you. Keep that in mind. But I love this one and I'm definitely going to be adding this to like my bronzer. So here is Dark Horse with the dry application and with the damp application. Oh, so moving into the colorful ones inside the palette. I'm going to be grabbing this one. This is called Legendary and this looks very like reddish toned. So I'm going to be applying that first with a dry application. Oh, it's very like light on my skin tone. So I'm glad that it's not like as intense as it is inside the palette. You guys can see it just has like a slight hint of a highlighter on my cheek but it definitely has like a like rosy hue to it so this totally would be pretty on your skin tone as a blush so let's apply it again with a damp application oh, girl I'm wearing this as a blush look at this this is really really pretty okay so there is legendary on my skin tone with a damp application I like this one a lot. It definitely is not as intense as it is in the palette. So I'm really glad that I thought I was going to put it on my cheek and it's going to be like bright red. But it's definitely light and it looks very, very flattering as a highlighter. But I'm totally going to be wearing this as a blush. So here is Legendary with a dry application and with a damp application. So moving on to the next shade. This one is called Giza. Giza? Giza? Not really sure how to pronounce it. But this looks like a kind of mix between like a taupe and like a red and like a bronze shade. So I'm really excited. I'm going to be using this Hakuhodo fan brush. So let's apply this first with a dry application. This one's kind of hard to see with my skin tone. You guys can see with the dry application, you can see that slight hint of glow. Let's try it again with the damp application and see if you can see more of the shade on my skin tone. Yes, okay, so apparently you can see it when it's applied with a damp application, but with a dry application, it just looks very sheer and you don't really see like the amount of glow inside Giza. So I like it with a damp application. I think this would be really pretty, or at least I'm going to use this shade on my eyes like eyeshadow all over my lid because as a highlighter, I just don't think that it looks flattering. 
probably just looks a little too dark on my skin tone. So again, here is Giza with a dry application and with a damp application. Okay, and then the final shade inside the palette is the yellow one, and this is called Liberashi. I'm really excited to try this one out. I'm gonna be using this Wayne Goss airbrush. I'm probably gonna put a lot of this shade on, so let's try applying this first with a dry application. You guys know I don't like yellow. This is what it looks like. <laughs> this is what it looks like with the dry application. So let's apply it again, and I'm going to dampen it. Although I really don't want to. I don't even think I'm ever going to use this shade in the palette. <laughs> what is this shade called? Liberace. <laughs> is it even called that? It's probably not even called that. So this is what it looks like <laughs> with a dry application and with a damp application. Again, I'm not a fan of yellow. I love the color yellow. I just don't like it in makeup, <laughs> at least on me. It makes me look really crazy. So if you're daring to wear this shade as a highlighter, girl, <laughs> this is your shade. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. I have to go clean my brushes and then we'll start on the Platinum Ice Palette. Okay, I'm back. I washed my brushes and I got a haircut. <laughs> so now let's move on to reviewing the Platinum Ice Skin Frost Pro Palette. And this one has more of the pastel lighter shades. So basically it's going to be flattering on lighter skin tone. Of course you guys can see I have tan skin tone. I'm NC45. So I'm excited to try out these ones. And two of the shades in here are permanent. They are Ice Cold and Lavender Snow. I've reviewed Lavender Snow before. I love it so much. So I'm really excited to play around with the other five shades that I've never touched before. So I'm going to begin with Ice Cold. And this one is a permanent skin frost from Jeffree. I just never picked it up because it is extremely light and I don't think that I would ever wear this shade on my skin tone. So let's try this one out. Yes, I'm definitely not reaching for this one. This one is just very like white and icy. So if I was going for or if I ever have a need for a white eyeshadow or a white highlighter, I would totally pick this one up. You guys can see it looks a little crazy on my skin tone. I'm just gonna put it on my other side with the damp application really quickly, even though I know it's not going to look flattering. Yeah, I definitely don't think I'm ever going to use this as a highlighter on my skin tone. Maybe I'll have Gina wear it in one of our future collabs, but this is what Ice Cold looks like with a dry application and with a damp application. So moving on to the next one, this is called Glacier, and this looks like a silvery highlighter. So I'm excited to see what this is going to look like. Hopefully I can wear this one as a highlighter on my skin tone, but I probably can't because it's silver. So let's just see. So this one's less like harsh on me. It definitely has that reflexed silver on it on my skin tone. I don't know. It just feels like it looks like a gray shade on me and it looks like I'm dead. <laughs> so I don't think I would wear Glacier either. Honestly, I don't even think I'm going to wear any of these shades in this palette, but I bought it because I wanted to review it for you guys. So let's apply it again with a damp application. Okay, so here's Glacier with a damp application. Again, it definitely is very, very light on my skin tone. I don't think I'm going to be using this as well as a highlighter on my skin, but I probably will use it as an eyeshadow, hopefully in some future look so this is what glacier looks like with a dry and with a damp application okay so the next one is a really fun one in the palette it's called alien ice and this looks like a really light green shade so i'm so excited to try this one out i know jeffrey previously released a green highlighter i think it is permanent but i never picked it up because i just don't think i'm ever going to reach for a green shade that often in my collection so i'm excited that i have this one in the palette to play around with so let's try this one out with the dry application oh this definitely is very green but it's like very subtle. It's not like intense. I felt like so far a lot of the shades inside this palette aren't like super intensely like pigmented. So if you like wearing highlighter but you're really scared that most of the times you see it on like Instagram and stuff, when people put on highlighter, it's like bam. <laughs> so if that's not your thing, then these ones are definitely gonna have a more natural appearance on your skin. So let's try it again with a damp application. I feel like this one has an iridescent shift to it so i'm definitely going to be using this one as an eyeshadow i don't think i'm going to ever reach for ice cold or glacier but it's nice that it's in the palette but this green one it's really pretty so i'm glad that he included alien ice inside this kit so here's alien ice with a dry application and with a damp application so the next one in the kit is like a pink shade and it's called pink chill but it's not like very very pink inside the palette so i'm excited to see what this is going to look like and i'm going to just quickly apply this first with a dry application so this one again has a sheer appearance on my skin tone it definitely has that pink appearance to it it's kind of like an iridescent like pink oh my god this one's definitely really pretty i might wear this one as a highlighter this one looks like a unicorn on my cheek so i love it so far with a dry application and let's intensify it by dampening the application girl I'm feeling this one. So far, this is my favorite out of the entire palette. I typically don't like reach for the colored highlighters on a day-to-day -day basis, but this one is everything 
so cute. So I'm obsessed with Pink Chill. So here's Pink Chill with a dry application and with a damp application. So moving on to the next one in the palette. This one is called Canary Bling and it's the yellow one in the palette. You guys know how I feel about yellow. So let's see what this one looks like on my skin tone. But it is a very light yellow. It's not like super like gold like the one in the 24 karat palette. So this one is yellow, but it's not like super gold like the one inside the 24 karat palette. So I'm feeling this one. This one's not that bad. It is still very yellow. I don't think I would ever wear it, but it's not like a yellow that I despise. So this one's pretty. It's like a natural yellow shade on my skin tone. So let's try it again with a damp application. So again, this one is not like an intense yellow. It's not like so gold. It definitely is like a sheer yellow on my skin tone. And this one's pretty, but I don't think I'm ever going to reach for this one on a day-to-day -day basis but if yellow's your thing this is what canary bling looks like with a dry application and with a damp application okay and then the last shade i wanted to save lavender snow for last because i already did review it before so let's just go ahead and apply it again i love this shade so much it definitely has like a silver undertone to the lavender so it's not so purple on your skin tone but it's really really pretty and i have worn it as a highlighter on a day-to-day -day basis oh i love this one so much this is it just dry and you guys can see the lavender on it girl unicorn vibes all day I love this one so much so let's apply it again by dampening the application Ugh. I love this one so much definitely my favorite out of the palette I already own it but again this is lavender snow so cute if you do not pick up lavender snow pick up this palette because it's in here and it's so gorgeous so here's lavender snow with a dry application and with a damp application and I also will give swatches of both of these palettes on my arms right here while I'm talking so you can see what they look like the 24 karat palette and the platinum ice palette the platinum ice palette is going to be for people that have lighter skin tone and the 24 karat palette is going to be for people with more of a darker complexion but again it's makeup do what you want like I said you seen every single shade on my skin tone I'm NC 45 for Mac for reference so hopefully that helps you guys out with this review and looking at both of these palettes seeing if you want to pick up one of them both of them or neither of them I love both of them I love reviewing Jeffree Star's skin frost and I love his highlighters because they are one of the biggest highlighters out there on the market I also didn't talk about the sizes of the highlighters so a regular skin frost would be 0.53 ounces which is really really huge and a shade inside the pro palette is going to be 0.24 ounces so it's going to be a little less product but again you get six shades so you can play around mix them up and it's a really nice investment to buy a palette of highlighters just like the glow kits because you get so many shades inside one product as opposed to wearing one highlighter but again if you have a favorite shade from Jeffree Star then just totally pick up that individually but the pro palettes are definitely the way to go if you've never tried one of his skin frosts before a pro palette is going to give you so many shades to play around with and fall in love with this video is probably super long so I was going to do comparison swatches but I'm just going to put them up on the screen on my arm so you guys can see them side by side so a lot of people said that the platinum ice palette looked like the moonchild palette from Anastasia but they really don't look like each other at all so here they are side by side I feel like the Anastasia the pigment is just much deeper and darker than the Jeffree Star one and again the colors may look similar in the layout but I don't think that they look similar at all but I will for reference do swatches so you can see what they look like I definitely just wanted to show you guys what all the shades and the pro palettes look like on my skin tone because I know it's hard to buy makeup online when you can't swatch and play around with it like it's not available inside a department store like Sephora and places like that so thank you so much for watching this review I hope you guys all enjoyed it let me know which palette is your favorite if you have one and if you have a favorite shade out of all of them as long as Jeffree keeps on coming out with skin frost you guys know I'm going to be reviewing them here on my channel because I enjoy doing so and I love them thank you guys again so much for watching make sure you guys subscribe on your way out if you have not already and I will see you guys all in the next one bye Excuse me.